I've watched lots of good videos on how to build a uh, starter drive for my generator that goes in my uh, cordless drill. And I'm not going to demonstrate this. I'm going to spend more time on showing you how I built it. And I'll put a link on the description. But this is a starter drive. I'm not sure what it's off of, but uh, I got it off eBay and I found the part number on one of the other videos on uh, on YouTube but it was under ten dollars on eBay and made in the USA so that's the starter drive I worked at or I start with and had to remove all of this spring assembly that's not required for what I want to do with it and also there was a bushing in the in the front of that and I'm gonna sacrifice this extension and I needed it to go down through there. Get rid of this stuff, because that's all junk now. And with that bushing in it, uh, it just wouldn't quite fit. So took that brass bushing, I, I actually tapped it with a half inch uh, tap and then just put a half inch bolt in it and pulled it out. So what I'm gonna end up doing is my sacrificial tools will be this extension and then I have a 32 millimeter socket and I'm going to weld this extension to this gear and then the socket will go over it and get welded to the outside these two spin independently the other thing that I did I got a little bit of slop uh, where this extension comes through. So I just took some mechanics wire and just kind of wrap that nice and tight around it so that goes in and fills that void. Slips up in there. And then I'm going to put this extension on it. Sorry, I'm doing all this one hand, or excuse me, the washer on it. And just tack weld that in place to hold that in, in place. But what will eventually happen is this outside will turn and you can see it's independent of the gear portion and once the generator starts then so it doesn't tear the drill up or rip it out of my hands this inside part is actually going to spin freely while I re pull the the starter off of the generator drive so that's my plan we'll see how it goes okay I've now welded the extension to the gear and also uh, put that little piece of mechanics wire in here and just tack welded this washer to it to hold it in place. So we'll go to step three. Here is the finished project. Again, I'm not going to go into detail and use it. There's plenty of videos for that, but um, just hook my half inch drill up or my cordless drill up with a half inch adapter. And then I can put any size socket that I need for the um, crankshaft on the generator or whatever, lawnmower, whatever I'm using. And this spins around until the engine catches and then that stops and this continues to freewheel while you remove it. So that way you're protected against uh, the clutch getting burned out of your drill or it just ripping it out of your hands and breaking your wrists, that type of thing. So that's my build I wanted to share. Thank you. Well, I lied. I did, I am gonna show this thing in use. I figured I better hook it up to make sure that uh, everything works. Uh, my drive is a 15 16 socket. Had to get my better drill out, but turns it over just fine. Uh, there's no gas in this, so it's not gonna start, but uh, just wanted to show that it does uh, work real well. And again, what happens is once the engine starts, then this part free wheels and this part stays stationary so you can back the drill off, but it, then it doesn't rip it out of your hands or tear up your drill or worship break your wrist.